Okay, Sharon, so you started your college career at Itawamba. Um, tell me about that and the transfer from um, JUCO to um, Div GSC Division II um, competition. Um, well, first coming here, like, it was exciting to me because, like, a lot, of the team, a lot of people that I did play in JUCO, like, I came here and, and played with them also. Like, that's exciting. Then some of the people that I played against at JUCO, I came here and played with them. And we were all familiar with each other. and. Like, we all fit in great with each other, so. Well, this is your first year to start at quarterback. Before, you know, before you started quarterback, you were a defensive back. And then last year, you, you had to come in at the very end of the season and play quarterback the last two mm -hmm. games. So tell me about uh, that adjustment and uh, that transition um, with different positions. Um, well, basically, I mean, I did it all through high school. I played quarterback all through high school. So it wasn't much of a transition. Like, I was actually excited to be, um, playing quarterback again and like just having that connection with my receivers and cause, like I played against them so in practice and stuff like that so I knew what they could do and they were all confident in me and my coach was confident in me so that made it a lot easier for me to make the transition from quarterback to from a uh, DB to quarterback. So. You had an injury um, during the West Florida game, shoulder, mm -hmm. and so you missed the Valdosta State game. Tell me about that, um, and because you, you were back last week at, mm -hmm. um, at West Georgia, so tell me about that and how uh, how you had to adjust. Um, well, in high school, I also dislocated my shoulder, so a lot of memories brought back. I mean, like a lot of pain, but I knew that my team wanted me to play, and I knew I had to make had to make. Um, had to go out and work hard to get back on the field because I knew that they would want me and I didn't want to miss the rest of this season because I'm a senior and I, I mean this is probably my last year doing anything so I want to make sure that I get back and be with my team and try to help us win some games. Tell me about uh, you and Kyron's relationship because you, you're a senior so you have to be somewhat of a mentor to him. Oh yeah, me and Kyron's relationship is just like, I mean we're true brothers. I mean we're not brothers for real but we're brothers at heart and like my relationship with him is just basically like he looks up to me and I have to be that leader for him as well as for the team. So like during the Valdosta game, like I gave him personally a pep talk and I also gave the offensive line a pep talk to like protect him because this is just like my little brother and I don't want nobody to hurt him and I know that they don't want nobody to hurt him. So I have to give him that pep talk and I have to get him like confident so that he can know that he can do what he, what he can. So. Um, so tell me about the last two games, so close, Valdosta by one point mm -hmm. and then last week at West Georgia, um, you know, almost by a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Tell me what those two losses mean um, to the team going forward. It has to be um, pretty encouraging. Oh, it is. Like, well, basically this whole year has been successful for us, even though we haven't been able to come out with the win but we have put up points more than we have been able to put up in the previous years. And this year is a big step forward because we have done so much improvement in the weight room, on the field, you know, in the classroom, we have done much better. And I'm so proud of everybody on the team, including myself. And I know the coaches are proud and I know that they're going to do whatever it takes to get this program to where it needs to be. Uh, on the road this week, um, mm -hmm. It's shorter. Tell me about what the road trips are like, because it seems like you guys have so much fun. Oh, we do. We do. Um, whenever we're on the road, you know, we travel on the bus. I mean, whenever we're not asleep, we're joking around, we're playing, you know, we're laughing, because you know, can't have fun. If you're not having fun, then, I mean, what are you there for? Like, this game, you have to have fun. So we had to make sure that we had to have fun in, in the game, you know, in a joke, in a huddle, you know, we make jokes every now and then. So on the road, I mean, it makes it that much easier to play when you're having fun. Since uh, you guys did have a bye week this past week, you've had two yeah. full weeks of practice, how has practice looked different and how has it been good for the team with so many injuries? Oh, it's been great. I mean, everybody had a lot of time to rest. We had a lot of time off. We had a time to recuperate our bodies. And also, like, this group of seniors, like, we know that this is our last couple of practices. So we have based this on last couple of weeks on like being able to finish. Like we have to finish this year, just like we have to finish our last season of football. Um, so on Saturday, what is the key to victory against Shorter? And 
if MC was victorious and you won this game, what would that GSC win mean to you as a senior and to the MC football program? Um, this week right here against Shorter, I mean, it's a big step. I mean, last year we thought we just knew we had the game, but we came up short. And this year we want this, this to be different. We know that what we have to do, we have prepared very well all week. And we just know that we're better than this team and we just want to come out the victory. And when we do get the victory, I mean, that's going to be the best bus ride home ever. Because I, since I've been here, like I haven't run a home game, a uh, away game yet. So on the bus ride back, that'd be, it'd be great. Um, well, as a senior, tell me about your future plans. Um, my future plans is to hopefully be a GA, GA here at MC. But if that doesn't work out, I plan to go somewhere else and probably GA. And after that, probably continue my career as a coach. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time, uh, Sean, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.